It's live. You got to be ready at a moment's notice to take serious topics into account and get the best, smartest minds on the case to help illuminate uh, someone that needs a lot of illumination, yours truly. Tonight we're going to talk for the first time on a continuing basis in shows to come about immigration reform, a topic that is real and human even right here in our tiny community of Park City and of course in the broader United States beyond. Joining me tonight from the law firm of Shumway, Van and Hansen, this is Clay Alger and Alex Ramos. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Nice to see you. Great to be here. Thanks yeah, for having thank us. You, you look good. Thank you. Same to you. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I'm digging the shoes. I, I was tired. Thank you. Thank you. I can't seem to keep them tied, but other than that, I'm I'm doing okay with them. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, to set the stage, you guys have a great deal of professional and personal experience with this topic. Like I say, not only from a practice standpoint, but but more importantly, it is a part of your lives. And I'm glad that that you guys could be here and that we were able to connect up and get this started. So, Clay, if you would, in, in the service of framing the issue a little bit, and I think we, before we can talk about policy, we have to talk about the reality of how Americans, and I hate that monolith, but how Americans feel about somehow normalizing lives for folks who are currently undocumented. Terry, well, I, I enjoyed your opening monologue. You talked about Will Ferrell taking our jobs and that you know the joke <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. but that's one of the the talking points at least from the the kind of more uh, outspoken um, critics is that they think immigrants um, are taking Americans jobs and as I see it and as a lot of experts see it that's just not the case um, quite to the contrary they're contributing to our economy they're bringing jobs I have clients that are starting businesses in this in this country who are employing Americans. So that's just not the case. And I think most Americans um, appreciate uh, what immig immigrants do for our economy. There was a recent article in the New York Times that talked about how the majority of Americans, I think 63%, um, favor some sort of path to citizenship for those who are undocumented in our country. And um, it's really what I believe what the majority of Americans feel. And that's, that's across, uh, I think it was 60% um, Republicans, 73% um, uh, liberals, uh, Democrats, and I think 50-57% uh, for uh, independents. So across all the main uh, parties. And even other slices of demography in terms of religion and right. lots of different ways, huh? you could slice and dice the, the numbers and the statistics and you still come out with the fact that there is a majority and a strong majority, 63, it's a, it's a big number. I think sometimes it it's like, so if it's not above 85, that's not significant. Yeah. 63, especially in this conversation, is significant. It's a big number, it really is, absolutely. And um, and again, even even Republicans, you know, the majority of self-identified Republicans um, want this. Um, and, and so I think the majority of them, and, and I think a lot of, um, people are maybe misinformed as we talked about, you know, jobs. Um, uh, immigrants are, are a critical part of our econ economy. Uh, think of Park City. I mean, a very service-oriented um, community. Um, we've got immigrants working in the um, restaurants, the cafes, the ski resorts, the um, hotels. I mean, they're a critical part of um, this local community and as well as the, the economy is in the greater uh, country. Absolutely. And, and I want to use that point to switch things around a little bit and bring Alex into the conversation because as we discussed before we came on camera, one of the things that is most important to me, even though what we're doing is framing and, and we must go, we must drive through policy town to get to our destination, but Alex, if you would talk about the human side of what this is in terms of not just a policy conversation but a human conversation. You know, we were talking about, Clay and I were talking about this on the way up and you know, we think about the service industry and who we're, uh, you know, how they're coming on board in terms of J-1 visas, you know, things like that. But you know, when people come here, some of them, sure, some of them come, they work, uh, they're seasonal and they go back. But most of them come and they fall in love with our country. You know, and Absolutely. they fall in love with other Americans, you know, and 
sometimes the, the pathways to get there um, are difficult because of legislation and laws and, and whatnot. But we forget that element, that human element, that it's not just people crossing the borders as they always you know, place on the news, you know? It's people who just come over um, you know, and want a better life or they fall in love with this, you know, this great country. You know, and uh, and coming here is not a soundbite. It's a human no, thing. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do this. We got to take a quick break, but if you'd be so kind as to frame the conversation personally with your experience, sure. we'll do that. We're going to do a quick break. We'll be right back with more. Right after this, please stay tuned to Mountain Views on Park City Television. Wingpoint Golf Course has a distinctive Scottish flavor and Linkland character. With rolling mounds, native grasses resembling Scottish straw, wildflowers, and bountiful bunkering. Wingpoint has twice been voted one of the top five golf courses in Utah by Golf Magazine and was named one of the state's top two public access courses by Golf Digest. With great views of downtown Salt Lake City and the Wasatch, one cannot help but enjoy the experience that Wingpoint has to offer. Also check out our sister courses, Bonneville and Mountaindale. Your place for Apre Ski, where appetizers are $6 before 6 o'clock. Butchers, Chop House and Bar, 7th and Park Avenue, Historic Park City. You owe it to yourself to experience the Burt Brothers difference. Let our family take care of yours. Make yourself at home while you wait. Burt Brothers has free Wi-Fi and drinks, TV, even great magazines. Or take our courtesy shuttle to your home or office. Burt Brothers does it better. And now, for your convenience, we're an on-the-spot renewal station for cars, trucks, boats, and more. Come in and see us. Burt Brothers Tire and Service. Burt Brothers does it better. Looking for your next home in the Park City area? Text PCU Utah to 32323 and download the Real Estate Mobile app on iPhone or Android. The app allows you to browse houses, save favorites, and quickly connect with a local Park City homes and land expert. Just text PCU Utah to 32323 and make your next home buying experience a breeze. No matter what your activity, air feed insoles increase balance and comfort, eliminate pain and fatigue. It's like walking on air. Find out more at myairfeet.com. Make plans to attend A Life in Art, the Arnold Freeberg Exhibition at the Gateway. Twelve amazing galleries, including never-before-seen Freeberg Originals. Bring a non-perishable food item for the Utah Food Bank and receive 50% off general admission. Visit FreebergLifeInArt.com for more information. Summit Sotheby's International Realty offers an unparalleled collection of Utah real estate presented by the world's premier luxury real estate brand. We represent the finest homes for both buyers and sellers. Visit SummitSotheby'sRealty.com. There are some insurance companies that are literally trained to not be helpful in the hopes that people will go away. So call Siegfried Jensen and we can get you the fair result that you're entitled to. Announcing fully loaded auto loans from Mountain America. Get discounted rates as low as 2.74 APR, on-site financing at the dealership, free auto check history reports, and up to 60 month terms. Apply today at the nearest Mountain America branch or at macu.com. I'm Abigail Brezen, and you're watching Park City Television. Park City Bread and Bagel, located in Quarry Village, is your one-stop shop for breakfast and so much more. Stop in today and see why bagels aren't just for breakfast anymore. We're starting to talk about immigration reform. I'm here with, from Shumway Van and Hanson, Mr. Alger and Mr. Ramos. Mr. Ramos. You were going to give us a, a, this is a wrong word to use, a little flavor for the human element. Sure. Your um, experience. Well, so my family came over on a tourist visa. They wanted a better life. Uh, we actually ended up overstaying. We were undocumented for a while. And then we became legal. But, you know, I could break it down to those three elements, you know, came, you know, and then was overstayed, undocumented, and then became legal. But throughout that time, I like to think of it as my, my mother never being able to take a full breath, because I always remember how she was just always, there's this tension in the air, that she was scared, she didn't know what was gonna happen, always feared, and I think that's what we fail to recognize sometimes, that every, you mentioned the amount of undocumented individuals there in our country right now. Imagine every day going through your life thinking, is this my last day? Is this my child's last day? If I leave, what's gonna happen to my child? He's grown up here. This is his home for all intents and purposes. 
you know, what's going to happen? And I think it's that human element really going down and thinking about what it is for these people that are going through it and not forgetting about that, you know. Sure, you know, we worry about bills. They worry about bills, you know. Of course. But these daily things, it's never like... But what? this is a, a specter over oh all of that gosh. for 11.7 yeah. million people each and every day. Each and every day. Having that feeling. Absolutely. Almost I mean, day. I always ask my question, what, would it, what did it take for my parents to, to leave everything, knowing to come to a country where they knew they weren't wanted? Uh, they knew that the laws were constantly trying to change to keep them out, you know. And they still came because they believe that much in the U.S., you know, the American dream. And that is, that has been the American dream. Obviously, we can shorten it all the way down to the Statue of Liberty and say, sure. uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a thing yeah. for a while. Right. It's still, it still a is. thing. Absolutely. All right, fellas, we have to talk about what the possibilities are in a nutshell for folks who maybe don't follow yeah. the debate, mm -hmm. uh, stalled in Congress, uh, Passed the Senate, hung up, Speaker John Boehner will not put the issue to a vote in the Congress, uh, in the House of Representatives, excuse me. Clay, if you would talk about this sort of hopefully a buffet of, of items uh -huh. from which we can choose to, to get to a place that is more human and more American in the very best sense. Right. So this conversation has been going on for quite a while, actually, um, in, in the legislature. And um, it just has been languishing there. And finally, um, the Senate has passed comprehensive immigration bill. And now it's in the House. And you're right, it is stalled there again. There, there was a lot of hope that something was going to happen by the end of this year. It's looking like now it's not going to happen. Politics get involved and, and things like that happen. Intransigence uh, is a way of life in Washington, without a doubt. Right. No, <laughs> it really is. And, and so, you know, uh, a lot of people, uh, myself included, I, I favor, you know, comprehensive immigration reform. Um, but I also think something needs to happen, um, and, and reform needs to happen soon. And it's interesting, uh, President Obama actually recently came out and suggested if we can't do comprehensive immigration reform, let's do something piecemeal. Let's do it step by step. Let's figure out what we can agree on, and let's move forward, and, and let's continue debating the other topics. Um, for example, earlier um, we talked about how 63% um, of Americans favor a path to citizenship. That's the path to citizenship. There are other options. Um, right. A lot of my clients, I've talked to a lot of people, um, they'd love to be a citizen someday. They love this country, as, as Alex has mentioned. But also, but just to be able to be here without the fear, yeah. there's something. Uh -huh. Be out of the shadows. Sure. Whether of it's a, a, a elite a, citizenship. Exactly. Whether it's a green card, whether it's a work uh, authorization program. Um, you know, President Obama recently came out um, in, in summer of last year and, and announced a program uh, called Deferred Action. And, and that's a band aid, it's a temporary fix, but it's, it's coming out and saying if you came here while you were a child, you really didn't have the option. Uh, your, your, your parents brought you here, and now you can't get into college, you can't get a job, you know, although this is, this is your home. You don't know anything else than this country. Um, we're going to let you stay. It's not a green card, but it's a, it's a temporary fix to be here now. And so there are, there are other options. Uh, and I think that, that this uh -huh. conversation that we had, again, before we came on camera about the, the constant fear of deportation and the characterization of criminalizing anybody who's here. It's not a criminal offense. It is trespass, technically. But the point being that we can start piecemeal simply by allowing people to not have to live in that kind of fear that ICE and all of these kinds of agencies are going to uh, pluck them from their homes and, and make that fear very real and real. Mm -hmm. Fellas, if you would, let's do this because we're going to talk more on this topic. Yeah. Tell folks the website for Shumway Van because I know that you guys have a lot of great information on your website. You speak eloquently and, and give people resources in addition to, to the work that you do each and every day. What is your uh, website? It's attorneyutah.com. Um, you can also, uh, shumwayvan.com would also get you there. Um, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, we also have presence on you know, Google+, Plus, on Facebook, on social media. You can connect with, with us there. You can look for us there. Um, Fantastic. So, yeah. 
thank you for coming. We will see you again soon, and I can hardly wait to get to my next reading list that you guys <laughs> will help me prep for this important conversation. We appreciate having you here. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, Terry. See you soon. Alex, Clay, all the best. Thanks. All right, quick break. We've got to do weather. Weather is serious these days. Sarah Nibley is here. Quick break. Stay tuned to Mountain Views on Park City Television.